G'day, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv and an Embarcadero MVP. In this video, we're going to build a simple master detail application. We'll start by creating a new Windows VCL app. To begin with, we're just going to make a minor change to the database connection we are going to use. Navigate to the Data Explorer, FireDAC, SQLite database, and the SQLite demo. And to modify, and go down to the journaling mode and change it to write ahead logging or WAL. This will make the database play nicer when accessing it from both the application and IDE simultaneously. Expand out the database connection and we're going to drag and drop the customers table onto our application. You can see that this has automatically created for us a query for the customers table and a connection to the database. Let's repeat the process for the orders table. And you can see that it has automatically hooked up the query to the connection for us. We need a way to connect our queries up to the GUI, so we need a couple of data source components. The first will name DS customers and we'll hook that up to the customers table. And the second we'll call DS orders and hook that up to the orders table. We'll now add a couple of grids to our application to display the data from both the customers and orders queries. We'll drop the first one on and copy and paste for the second one. And then we'll hook up the data sources, uh, or the orders table to the bottom and customer table to the top data grid. If we now set the active property on both queries to true, we'll get to see some data at design time. Let's set the align property on the orders grid to bottom and to client on the customers grid. And we'll just adjust things around so that we can see more data. We can see that on both queries we have a customer ID and we'll use this to set up our master detail relationship. Set the master source property on the orders query to the customer's data source and then add customer ID to master fields. Next change the index field names to customer ID and our orders will now be filtered to the current customer. Okay, let's run our application and have a look. And as we scroll through, you can see that our orders are filtered by the current customer. We can hide some of the fields from the user by double clicking on the grid, adding all fields, then removing the ones we don't want. And we'll just adjust some of these column widths. And we'll just repeat this process for the orders grid and add all fields and remove the ones we don't want. We see that this ship via field is just an integer. If we look back at our database in the data explorer, we have a shippers table which we can drag and drop onto our application. We're going to improve that ship via field. Right click on the orders table go into the fields editor and add all fields, then right click and create a new field. We'll call it ship via full, make it a string field with 30 characters and change the field type to lookup. Change the key fields to ship via, the data set to shippers table, lookup keys to shipper ID and the result field to company name. We now need to add the field to the orders grid by double clicking on the grid. Click the new field button and set the field name to ship via full. And we'll change the title for the column header. I'd normally do this for all the fields, but we are a little bit pressed for time. Let's get rid of that old ship via field. It would be nice to have some way to edit the data, and we can do this by creating a new VCL form. If we go back to our customers table and right click on it and go into the fields editor, then add all the fields, we can then just 
drag and drop all those fields on to our new customer editor. I'll just select them all and reposition them into the top left corner. Some of these fields are a bit long, so I'll select the longer fields, right click on one of them, select position, then size, and shrink to smallest. I'll just shift this data source and then shrink the form to match our controls. We'll need some way of saving our custom edits, so we'll start by adding a couple of buttons. The first will make a save button by updating the caption, and the second will make cancel. We need our buttons to do something useful, so start by double clicking on the save button to create an event. If we want to access our main form, the creatively named form 19, we'll need to use unit 19 first. We want to save our changes to the customer table, and I notice IDE Insight hasn't caught up to our previous change, so I'm just going to copy and paste the table name into the code. To save, we call post, then we want to close our editor. I'm just going to copy this code, go back to our form and create our cancel event, and paste that code. Instead of post, we want to call cancel. To access our custom editor, we need to use unit 20. I'd normally give everything meaningful names, but we're in a hurry, so I won't. We need some way of showing our customer editor, so I'll drop a panel onto the form, align it to top, and also remove the caption. To the panel, we'll add a button, align it left, set the align with the margins so that it has a border around it, and change the caption to new custom. Double click our button to add an event, call insert on the customer table, then call show modal on the form to make it visible. We can now run our application and add a new customer. And our application is done. Well, almost. Edit and delete would be nice. and. I'll leave those as an exercise for the uh, viewer. But as you can see, we've taken very little time and built a fairly useful application without writing hardly any code. Thanks for watching.